Hey everyone, this is Jordan Hatfield with Great Light Studios. We recently got another video sent to us from Jeremy Burgos, who's been making videos to talk about the World Mission Society Church of God and his experiences in that group. Um, we wanted to clarify that Jeremy isn't personally a uh, part of Great Light Studios, but he actually just sends us in the videos that he personally makes. Um, he sent us a couple of videos now. We haven't actually, we're not the ones producing those. He's sending us those and then we are putting those out uh, for him through our channel. Um, and the reason I say that is because many of you I know are reaching out to us and sending us emails wanting to talk to Jeremy personally. And so you can continue to do that if, if you want to get in contact with Jeremy. Um, you can contact us and we can try to help get you um, in contact with him. But we just wanted to clarify that um, these videos that we are putting out of Jeremy aren't actually videos that we're producing. He's, he's putting these all together by himself. Um, and so we hope that what Jeremy has to say is helpful for you in this, this video. We're excited to share um, this information. We think it's really um, insightful and, and will help you kind of see why the World Mission Society Church of God is, uh, is dangerous and, and, and is something that you need to be careful of and cautious of. Hello again, my name is Jeremy and I was a former leader of the World Mission Society Church of God and uh, they believe in God the Mother as well as An Sung Hong. And uh, I already shot two videos and since people have been saying a lot about me uh, over the last few months, uh, I wanna share some of these comments from the leaders as well as current members and what they're saying to people like me and uh, also people who don't agree with the church uh, and also former members who left. And you're gonna be shocked because these comments stem from racist, they stem from degrading, they stem from homophobic, threatening comments. So please stay tuned to the very end so you can see the true characteristics of the members of the World Mission Society Church of God because at the end of the day, attitude reflects leadership. And I wanna first give a shout out to Ray Gonzalez who was a former leader of the World Mission Society Church of God in the East Coast because he won in court from getting his non-disclosure agreement nullified. And here's the article right here. You can screenshot it if you like and read through it. And I'll also leave a link in the description if you'd like to read it as well. And for the record, the Royal Mission Society Church of God, they're the ones that go after and sue former members as well as people who do not agree with the church. And to confirm this fact, you can search NBC, World Mission Society Church of God, Cults in America, and see uh, one of the missionaries who uh, and the lawyer of the Royal Mission Society Church of God who confirmed this fact. Actually, they were asked on record live uh, why they go after and sue former members. And it's not the other way around. Like I was taught uh, when I was in the church, I was told that no, they sue us in the church, but actually no, they are the ones that confirm this on NBC that they are the ones that attack. So the Royal Mission Society Church of God, they go after and sue former members. And when they were asked this on live television, they said no comment. So pretty shocking. So yeah, this, this so-called church, they sue its former members who speak about their experience and, uh, experiences and the Royal Mission Society Church of God, they make their leader sign non-disclosure agreements and it's just ridiculous if you actually read through the non-disclosure agreement. I'll leave it right here once again so that you can read through it. But I covered that in my last video. But today I wanna talk about a few things. Uh, a, I want to talk about their teachings and how they expose themselves through critical key teachings, especially about An Sung Hong, who they, they actually say that he's the second coming Christ, God who came in the flesh. I also want to talk about their new name, which is Aziz, and how college students and government officials must do their research on this group and spread the word because they are using these names now to fool students and workers to come join their church. So they cover up the fact of who they really are and actually they expose themselves again and I'm gonna show the proof of that in this video. And also I'm gonna get back to it again, the Queen's Award. For some reason, there's members that are coming on YouTube, I'll leave right here, saying I went through the entire website and we never said we're the only church or the religious organization. We, uh, we just said that we were you know, happy to receive the award. 
But even though I showed evidence in my last video, they still like to twist, you know, what I say, but and discredit me and say that I'm lying. Well, we'll see today. And uh, evidence from once again of them exposing themselves and how they are hiding all this evidence. And then I also want to talk about what you're going to be getting yourself into when you join this church. You're going to be giving up, you know, praying to give up for your freedom. It's a sin to want a boyfriend or girlfriend. It's a sin to want to have fun. I'm not even joking. Yeah, this is serious. And I'm going to show the evidence as well through their Day of Atonement prayer services. And then finally, the terrible comments and attacks from the members as well as leaders of the World Mission Society Church of God. Because at the end of the day, attitude does reflect leadership. And these guys are just making fake YouTube accounts and just coming on and bashing. It's just really, it's actually funny at this point. But before I dive in, I want to make this clear that this is not slander. And the definition of slander is the utterance of false charges or misrepresentations which defame and damage another person's reputation. So key word is a false and defamatory oral statement about a person or organization. But everything I say is true and I back it up with evidence and facts to show that it is true. The World Mission Society Church of God, you are the ones that are sp exposing yourselves here and that's what I'm about to share with you today. So we're gonna dive into my computer for a screen recording and let's dive right in. All right, we are here in my desktop and this is a live recording and I'm here on Wayback Machine and this is such an awesome software that you can even go to and search yourself to confirm that I'm not lying. But when you go to this website, it records every single change you ever made to a web page's history. So for example, if I had a website in 2011 and I wanted to go back and see what my website looked like or some important information, I can use Wayback Machine to trace back what my website was like in 2011 since now it's 2019. So I'm gonna dive into what their, what their old teachings were on a topic about Melchizedek, all right? They uh, like to say now, that An Sung Hong was not Buddhist. This is the true WMSCOG.com. This is the World Mission Society Church of God's website. And they say right here that An Sung Hong was not Buddhist. All right, I don't know how many times I've had to explain that people, Christ An Sung was not Buddhist. Seriously, there are so many websites and individuals out there saying he was Buddhist. And why am I bringing this up? It's because there's an important Bible study, and if you're a member, you know, about Melchizedek. And Melchizedek, they say, An Sung Hong came and fulfilled all the requirements of Melchizedek. He came and brought out bread and wine like Melchizedek. He uh, was out was without genealogy, meaning no Jewish blood, and was without father and mother, which means unbelieving family, unbelieving parents. So uh, why am I bringing this up? It's because what's funny about it is I was taught, as well as other members that came in with me, that An Sung Hong was indeed Buddhist. He came from a Buddhist family. So that's how we know he came from a family of unbelievers. But now they say, we never taught that. What do you mean? And they even came out with a website, a page to say, we never taught that. But let's dive right in and see what they used to teach. And before I get into it, this is their website, zionusa.org. Thanks for visiting the Church of God website. They redirect you back, back to a new website. But just to confirm that this is their website, look, I'm playing their church introduction video. This is the Royal Mission Society Church of God. When we go back to Wayback Machine, let's search their website. And let's look at the history on what they used to teach. So I'm going to go back, all right, to 2008. And I'm going to pick a date. Let's go to August 12, 2008 and look at what they used to teach. And when you go to here, see, this is their website. You can look up Sabbath day, fundamental truths, Passover, second coming Christ, all these things. And let's look at the teachings about Melchizedek. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm excited because uh, let's look. All right. So like I mentioned before, he was born among unbelievers and then without father or mother, without genealogy. And then, you know, bringing out the Passover bread and wine. But let's take a look right here. OK, so Christ An Sung Hong, right? It says right here. Population of Korea was either Buddhist or Confucian. Christ An Sung Hong was born to a Buddhist family. It's right here. You guys used to teach the World Mission Society Church of God. They taught that Christ An Sung Hong was born to a Buddhist family. You are the ones who taught that. But what are they saying now? Let's see. They say, let me ask a simple question. Can you give me evidence to show that his parents were Buddhist? And then they say, guess the answer is no, there's no evidence whatsoever. And they go on to even say furthermore, yeah, we should rely on the Bible and testimony of those who walk with Christ on song rather than, you know, unidentified man-made stories. You were the ones that made up that story. Don't you think God, the mother who, if she was, she's not God. If she were God, she would know. 
who An Sung Hong was, she would be able to tell you, no, his family wasn't Buddhist, but this is what they do. I guarantee you someone was like, well, one, why would An Sung Hong be Buddhist if he's second coming Christ, he's worshiping false gods, or B, someone actually verified that he was not Buddhist at all. And that's why they came out with this article. So this is the tactics of the Royal Mission Society Church of God. Not only are they controversial with, you know, breaking up families, and this is all through court documents suing former members, but also their teachings are fabricated too to fit their doctrine. So what now, Royal Mission Society Church of God? And if you're a member, don't be mad at me. Don't come onto YouTube and make these silly comments, but go to your leader, go to the Royal Mission Society Church of God and ask why they're lying to you. And at the end of the day, they're not the truth. Okay, the opposite of truth is falsehood. And as you can see, we caught them in a lie. So does that make them the truth? Absolutely not. So let's dive into the next topic, which is gonna be about Aziz. All right, so I have right here the World Mission Society Church of God. This is the, uh, you know, started from the WMSCOG. It's the University Student Volunteers from the Church of God. Uh, and as you can see here, many different photos. And back when I was a member, we had the Melchizedek Bible Study Club, Elohim Academy, Elohist Academy, and we would go to universities and ask to set the clubs up based off those names. And we were always told not to use World Mission Society Church of God because all the, the ministers and all the, you know, the leaders at these universities, they would do their checks on these organizations. So that's why, you know, they come up with different names you know, to uh, cover up the World Mission Society Church of God until stuff hits the fan like it did a couple days ago. Students approached by a religious group. And when you scroll down in this article, you guys can type it in here. Just type in World Mission Society Church of God. And uh, the World Mission Society Church of God originated in Korea. When you scroll down, it was associated with student groups, the Elohim Bible Academy, like I just said, which was disaffiliated from, you know, the university in 2017. And then they tried again, Aziz, a volunteer group, which failed to reaffiliate with the university last year, which means that they were trying to go under a different name, but they did not get it. But the members told the Daily Times they were purely a volunteer group and included some members that were not churchgoers. And this is a lie because the group, one, they're going to invite like uh, their friends, like from the World Mission Society Church of Gods, whether it's their friends or family, to come out and help clean up just so that they can preach to them, invite them to the church and say, look, you know, we do all these good things. We do all these great things for these people. But at the end of the day, it's just a preaching. It's just a way for them to preach. But when, you know, one member had no knowledge of the apparent attempts to baptize students and the normal procedure of the church was to sign a form saying they want to be baptized rather than persuading someone to get into the car. So, yeah, it's really funny that you have no knowledge. Yeah, I'd really highly 100% doubt that because they say, yeah, if you have a friend or a family member that would like to come, this is a preaching opportunity for them that they can be baptized and become a member. So if you're in a university, be aware of Elohim Academy, Melchizedek Bible Study Club, be aware of Aziz, be aware of the Elohist Academy. All these names are the cover-ups of the World Mission Society Church of God. And if you hear about God the Mother, Second Coming Christ, if you hear about World War III in the Bible, the end of the world, if you hear about uh, the Passover, the Sabbath day, these are just signs of the World Mission Society Church of God. Okay, since I covered this already, I'm going to just make this short and sweet. Like I showed you before, there's members that will come on and comment on YouTube saying, we never said that, we never said we're the only religious organization. Well, I'm here on their website, and when you look at it right here, the Church of God was the only religious organization to win among the 193 invited charities. And this is the English Wa TV website. This is their website. So there's nothing for me to say other than that. And if you have a problem with this, go ask the Church of God why they lie, why they're lying. It's just a propaganda to get more people to come to the church, which is actually against the Brown Book teaching as well as the Bible teaching. Narrow gate leads to heaven. Why is the gate that leads to hell? But also they're you know, Matthew chapter five, they're the ones that are exposing themselves through Jesus said, let your reward be in heaven, not here on this earth. Okay, let's go to the San Diego Zion. Let's see what they wrote on their website too. Yeah, look at this. The Roman Society Church of God is the only re religious organization to have ever been able to receive this honor. So they even go to say have ever been able to. <laughs> Why? And let's look at here, Indonesia, the only, here we go only religious organization to ever win the award so not just the united states but this is all over there doing this they even made a youtube video type in this url on youtube they actually made this video private as soon as it got on the examining website if you have not seen the encountering on sung home 
go check out that website. But because this was exposed that they were not the only religious organization, they made this video private. And as you can see, this is from them, the WMSCOG Awards. So guys, you know what? You, this is all evidence. This is all facts showing you very clear that the World Mission Society Church of God they do nothing but lie. Dive into if you get approached by the Royal Mission Society Church of God, or if you have a family member or relative that you know invites you to the church, this is what you're going to get into when you're a current member. Okay, so this is the prayer list for the prayer week of the Day of Atonement, and I was sent this from a member that currently go, that went in 2018. He doesn't go anymore this year, but let's zoom in and see what they have to say. So you know, sin of not acknowledging myself as a sinner. So anyway. Sin of resting and sleeping as desired, though I'm a sinner. Sin of wanting to enjoy my freedom, though I'm a sinner. And then uh, sin of wanting to, uh, of not acknowledging my wrongdoings as a sin. And then sin of being arrogant or selfish. So how about that? Sin of resting and sleeping as desired. So yeah, they, you know how they say they sleep deprive uh, members. When I was a member, we would have meetings on Thursday nights at 930, wouldn't start till 1030. And I worked at 4 a.m. every day. Why well, to be up at four? I had to be at work at 430. And so I wouldn't get home till past midnight. And that's a sin in the World Mission Society Church of God, according to them, not me, but the sin of resting and sleeping as desired as though I'm a sinner. So if you want to give up your uh, you know, freedom to sleep, uh, join the World Mission Society Church of God. But it gets even more weird, to be honest. Uh, sin of forgetting the world that I should pray and be, uh, sin of forgetting the world that I should pray and, and be joyful always because I'm a sinner. So yeah, when you're in the church, you know, for example, if you're watching this video and you're not a member, but you know somebody, a friend that's a member, all of a sudden they stop hanging out with you. You know, you don't see them as much. It's because they want them to indoctrinate them and then spend all their time in the church. And if you're not a member of the World Mission Society Church of God, then you are considered Satan and you're spiritually unclean, you're spiritually dead and to not associate with you. And I'm going to leave the evidence right here on the side right here so you can see that even one current member who is bashing me on YouTube said Apostle Paul said not to eat with somebody like that. So are you going to go against Apostle Paul too? Like, So I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to give up your friends who don't join and your family members, then go ahead, join the World Mission Society Church of God. Sin of being tempted by the world, forget I'm a sinner. How about this one? Sin of wanting to have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Uh, a sin of being tempted by the worldly pleasures, forgetting I'm a sinner. So yeah, you can't have fun. Uh, you can't have a boyfriend or girlfriend if you're in the World Mission Society Church of God, or that's a sin. So go right ahead. If you're a college student or if you're in your 20s, military, whatever it may be, yeah, if you want to go out with some friends, then they're going to guilt trip you into why you're doing that instead of spending your time for the gospel for God the mother as well as Christ on song home because the world's gonna end and at the end of the day I'm gonna show the evidence right here as well that they do still teach that that oh yeah you're gonna see the end of the world's coming World War three so and so for all these things but they fear they put fear in you they put guilt into you to say why aren't you in church why aren't you doing Bible study you need to be in church this world is evil so yeah if you want to go ahead and join them knowing all of this you can screenshot and then look at that as well go through them one by one and be like ah you know wait the odds but yeah just a little joke there but anyway let's dive into what members have been saying so i'm gonna just start off first i know i brought up racist comments and they're gonna show a video with african americans hispanic asian members and say we have members all over the world we're not racist but at the end of the day they uh i mean explain these comments so right here we have hello black man who give you life without mother who gives you life only father hi you black man you should have a cow dung in your head so you can understand what the truth is you stupid buffalo so yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, attitude reflects leadership. So where do they get this attitude from? Where do they get this disrespect? And uh, at the end of the day, that's just wrong. You know what I mean? And uh, I wanna just make one thing clear, that the leaders, they go undercover and make fake accounts to try and attack, like I mentioned in my other video, and to get a rise out of the you know people that are making these videos. And then they'll show that to the current members and say, look at the slanders, look how evil they are, look how they talk. But luckily I screen record everything and this is two years ago that this one was, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's what members say, I, you know, that's very rude. Um, and then let's go to another one. Crickets chirping, where is everybody at? Come out, come out wherever you are. Tim McCarty, Jeremy, the closet's too jam-packed. Come out and help, brother. Uh, okay, that's cool. 
Um, and then you are a fool. Stop and think at the consequences you'll pay when the time comes. So making threats on YouTube, even someone backed her up, Jeff Buchanan, shout out to you, man. Seriously, making threats on YouTube, what a joke you are. This is the church of God. They'll say, oh, you're speaking against mother. Oh, you're going to go to hell. They'll put that threat out there. Like, come on, man. Like, how can you be so confident and sure 100% that that is true and fact? Show me the evidence where she's going to automatically go to hell. Show me that evidence. But shout out to Callie Girl. That video was awesome. She uh, had undercover a video recording with Missionary Kelly. And uh, actually, I, I know exactly who that lady was. And it was just hilarious. She's been a leader for 19 years. And she straight up was lying on that video. And if you haven't checked that out yet, there will uh, be a link in the description too. And just check that out. It's phenomenal here. But this is what the members of the Church of God are saying. Oh, so bad y'all couldn't leave that you know D. My response was, absolutely, have a great day. Like, I don't care what you have to say. You're a troll on the internet. There's going to be all those everywhere. You don't know me. You don't know my life. You're on the internet for what? Shouldn't you be out preaching, man? Like, why are you wasting your time on here? Like, get out of here, man. Let's go to the next one. Jeremy, your white fellow white demon blocked me. Jeremy, you really don't give a, you know, do you, huh? I'm only taking a dump as I write because it's the only time I got for your BS. And here you are at night, creep replying to a troll instead of being Busy plowing your wife. What a loser. Actually, my wife, she's a member of the church. She's a leader. And you're going to disrespect your sister? Man, get out of here, dude. Oh, man, get out of here. But hey, if you want to entertain me, at least, uh, you know, bring to the table while you're doing this video. We really, really want to see how miserable your life is. Hey, thanks, man. Actually, my life's pretty awesome, man. I can't complain at all. But shout out to you, man. Uh, and for the record, you're the one that's coming on trolling. Actually, if you look up what trolls are, they're people that don't have a life, so they go out and bring down others and attack others because inside they have something that is actually holding them back. They're miserable. They're unhappy. So what do they do? They put others down to make themselves feel superior to others. Oh, uh, look at this one. Another racist comment. Mind your own business, N-word. I'm not going to say that, but look at this. This is them. Attitude reflects leadership. Anyone that speaks again against the church, that what they say speaks against. It's not slander when you're speaking truth. Uh, at the end of the day, they say, yeah, you know what? They're evil. They're Satan. We need to get rid of them. And then they say the staff of Moses. And then also, you know, the burning fire inside. We got to protect the gospel. Like these are the things they say. So what do they do? They come out and... Oh, it's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. And then Jordan Young, shout out to my man. If you have not seen his videos, go check them out. But just to remind you how little your brain is, it's probably gone and probably ate it. Further, you're supposed to use that Old and New Testament, duh. What do you think they're using? The Quran? So dumb, man. So you don't even know Jesus in the Old Testament to preach to people in the kingdom of heaven. And when you meet Jesus, please ask him to stick to one book. Like, okay, man, like... <laughs> This is, I like, when I see these, I actually laugh. I screenshot and I laugh. And I'm like, you guys are just ridiculous. Like, you know, so at the end of the day, if you want to be a part of this organization, if you're a government official that's approving of this organization to do cleanups and all these things from Aziz, World Mission Society, Church of God, you have Melchizedek Bible Study Club, Elohist Academy, Elohim Academy. These are the people that you're bringing to, you know, and that you are marketing out for and how is that going to look on you if you're a government official if you're somebody in the news the press yeah i actually got a call from abc news not knowing that they aziz was actually a cover-up for world mission society church of god so at the end of the day you know what you guys can cover up all you want but you know and you and they attacked me personally that's why i came out to do another video but at the end of the day guys like uh if you're if you get approached by these people or if you're a current member then please just do your research and understand this is not slander this is all facts that i'm showing you and lastly i want to show you general pastor's brown book because what do you say likewise false churches are apparently gorgeous and famous in the world and many people belong to them however their end is destruction look at all their look look at that church intro video that i showed in the beginning look how big look how beautiful their churches are nowadays and at the end of the day they're preaching they want twenty thousand. i know your guys' goal this year twenty thousand bible study clubs all around the the world and you guys are trying to now 7,000 churches plus which is a fabricated you know they say that bible study clubs on campuses house churches that have two or three members that's considered a church so there are 7,000 churches there are two million members or whatever they say that is that's baptized people a lot of people actually are they stop going now because all this truth is coming out about them so if you are on the fence about the world mission society church of god or if you're approached by them please i want this to share the more that people can talk about these videos then the better 
that we are made aware and then we can make the decisions for ourselves. And I'm not making money off these videos. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart because a lot of people, families, members that were in the church that left, they've reached out to me over email as well as phone calls and just talking out with them has really made me happy to help them as well as you know them knowing the truth. So anything that uh, can help spread the word is awesome. So uh, any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can leave your comment in the description uh, below if you want me to reach out to you. But at the end of the day, if you're going to come out to troll, I'm not replying to trolls anymore. Uh, I'm just going to screenshot and that's it. Uh, I don't have anything to say to you. I, everything I have to say is in these videos. I've asked multiple times. I'm going to show right here actually too. How many times I've asked leaders as well as members to do a video call with me. I said, let's FaceTime. Let's do a video chat. Let's record it. And as soon as I say record it, I get no response. I get blocked and that's it. But why? What do you guys have to hide? You know, I'm here showing my videos. I'm showing my face of who I am and I'm showing all the evidence to support it. But you guys don't want to come on. Instead, you just make a video for the church members bashing me and all the other former members like Ron Ramos and to show your side of the story just to the members. That's controlling information. That's a cult tactic, World Mission Society, Church of God. So at the end of the day, you know what? please, I would love to do a video chat. I'd love to FaceTime and I'll keep it cool. I'm just going to be smiling, laughing, asking the questions like I am now. And I guarantee you, you'll see, you'll see if the audience is out there, uh, you guys will see the truth from the falsehood, the light from the darkness. So guys have a wonderful day. Any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll talk soon.